Well, hello there. Cubby Caboose here. All right, engineers. We're getting ready to roll again. And here's the plan. Okay, first of all, we have got to wear gloves. Gloves. In order to roll the trains. Now you can wear those. Can you wear those underneath your engineer gloves? Or just wear your engineer gloves, but you're going to have to wash those gloves every day after work. Okay? So, uh, you can get gloves at uh, the beauty supply. Um, you can get them uh, at Harbor Freight when they start stocking them again because they were shipping them out to the hospitals. Um, and uh, uh, if you can get through a restaurant or restaurant supply, uh, you might be able to get some. And um, if they get ripped, you need to change them. Do not go with ripped gloves, okay? Uh, it's really important. And that's also a tax write-off uh, for your work. And uh, uh, you need to wear a mask. Okay, this is required for the malls and for us to try to operate the trains. Otherwise, the trains aren't going to run. So you got to have a mask and gloves in order to run the trains. And you need to have the six-foot rule in the line at your train station. Six foot, get those customers six foot apart. Okay, and we are going to uh, uh, run the trains with every other car, okay, uh, it, it, for the time being. It'll be every other car will load. Um, and then, how we're going to load the cars is going to be tough. Um, some runs are going to be like $20 runs because you can put a family that lives together in one car skip a car, go to the next car, and you can put a family in there, or if there's only one child that's riding, you only put that one child in that car. Do not mix kids up or people up. You're going to have to keep everybody separate for the time being um, because we've got some new things that are going on. Uh, but anyway, you, as per the malls and the law, you've got to wear a mask and gloves, okay? And keep that six-foot rule at your station line for your customers. Um, and be real careful because you really do need to wear a mask because you have people coming up to the loco and trying to scream at you, talk to you while you're trying to drive the train. And don't stop that train for that. It's not the local information center. Keep on driving. Just smile and wave. And uh, they might get the idea. Because you you have too much responsible for when you're carrying passengers. Don't pay attention to all that other stuff. Just pay attention to driving that train. Watching the sides and the back of your train at the same time. Okay. And the next thing is that if you don't have any of this, we've got to spray after every ride for people that have ridden in a car. Uh, you don't have to spray it real close. You just, like that way, just dust it around. Do the door. Where they touch the door, you know, the entry. And then do the seats and the walls. And let it air dry. There's no rubbing, no buffing. Just do it. Now, if you can't get any of this, this is from the Dollar Tree. It's also tax right off. And um, as it supplies for your work. Uh, um, this may be very hard to get. I know uh, in one of the areas in Upper Florida, it hasn't been around for about three months. So, I am the only one that has a total supply. But anyway, um, I'm going to show you how to make some sanitizer, sterilizer for your train that you're running. Very simply. And will work great with no rubbing and no buffing. And it's very reasonable. Okay. You're going to go to Dollar Tree or Walmart. And you will get this Lysol. Okay. It makes over five gallons. It'll make more than that for what we're using it for. We're going to make Lysol spray. Uh, they also have a dark brown bottle that you can't see through. That they sell is excellent. Um, generally, in stores, it's about $6. But if you go to Dollar Tree, you can get it for a dollar. Okay. And it looks like that. And uh, let's see. That is a... Um, 
about almost 11 ounce bottle. This goes a really long way. This is safe. This will work. It is the real 99% viruses, killer, and all that stuff, and germ killer. That's what you want. The Lysol, and you want this. Don't get anything else, because all that is is air freshener. You, 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 you're trying to kill the virus, okay? Because people leave it behind. What happens? Then you touch it, then everybody else touches it, and everybody gets sick. And we don't want to be known for the death train. We were looking for a happy train, okay? So, what you're going to do is you're going to get a, a plastic bottle. That's one dollar at Dollar Tree. You're going to use regular tap water, or you can use bottled water. And you're going to fill it to about here, okay? And then you're going to put the rest up to here or here of this Lysol. You don't have to shake or anything. It automatically mix. And you will dust it on. Don't squirt it on soaking wet. Just dust it. Get fine spray. And spray it all over on your door and in the car. Uh, um, you know, when somebody's just ridden. Or at the beginning of your shift. Or the end of your shift, too. You need to do that. Um, and let it air dry. Okay? Um, and this works fantastic. Fantastic. You can also spray your steering wheel. The seat of, of the loco, you can spray the door of the loco because people love to touch all that. Uh, it will not hurt the paint finish or the uh, hardware on the trains. So this works great. That's what you need to do. And keep that with you. Stand it up somewhere in the loco where it's not going to fall over and leak into the electric and short it out. Um, but that's super important. Make sure that you take a permanent marker like this. And label it Lysol spray so that somebody doesn't think it's something else and spray it and do something with it, put it in their hair or whatever on their skin. Um, because people need to know what that is. Put in big letters, use a permanent marker, that's a book. Save so your receipts, it's a tax write off. So, what are you gonna do? You're gonna wear a face mask, you're gonna wear gloves, and you're gonna use your sterilizer after every rider okay and before and after with the train before you start to train up and before uh, before uh, you leave the site when you park the train um, gloves are nine dollars or less a box if you need them if you can get this great and a permanent marker all right and uh um, that's what you really need to do because that is our agreement with the malls. That's how they want us to operate. So um, please do it and do it right for your safety, our customers' safety, and to make a good impression on the mall because we've got some great things getting ready to happen. Okay? Um, all right. So I hope you have a really great day. And Cubby does too. He's the one and only. That's Cubby Caboose, our boss. And, uh, uh, he just wants to say he loves you and uh, that he appreciates everything you're doing. Thank you for your patience. Thanks for hanging in there. And uh, we'll see you guys later. Have a great one.